What is going on my super sandwiches? Rhymes out here and welcome back to another Hidden Fates opening and I guarantee you inside a slew of boxes there's going to be another shiny Mewtwo. Why? Because I'm recording this on the 21st of September and literally every single week when I came home from raiding in Pokemon Go I would do openings for Hidden Fates and every single time without fail I always 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 pull the shiny Mewtwo. Not a big problem because it's a good card Mewtwo is one of my favorite Pokemon and pulling that is great. But it's just funny because I'm trying so hard to pull that man or to get that man in, in Pokemon Go, there's a code card, and it's just funny, I can't get him in the game, but I'm getting the actual card, which I feel like is kind of harder to get, so we got three packs out here, and yeah, that's basically been the story of my life this past week, again, it's a weird first world problem, because like, I'd rather pull the card, to be honest, because the more perfect condition Mewtwo's you get, the better chances you have at, at tens, and the more tens, the better, I guess, so yeah, but ideally, I would love to pull that. Wow! This, oh, never mind. I thought this had three Mewtwo packs, but it was actually Mew in the middle. Uh, ideally, I would love to pull this actually uh, in the game, uh, and in the, in the actual card game, I want to pull Charizard. That's gonna be the big goal today. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to get all these out of the actual uh, packages. There's another code card, and we'll jump right in. As always, expect more of Hidden Fates at some point uh, over the course of the future. I had a funny thought today because I think Leonhard did the same thing, um, but. If I pulled Charizard, you guys probably wouldn't know this for weeks. I feel like by the time the video airs, if it actually ends up happening, I'll have the greater card in my hand, just like how he did with Beckett. So that's that's something funny to think about. Like that's how far I am in my recordings usually. And at the time of recording this, I'm literally uh, scheduled out until like October 6th. So I got like two weeks ahead just because I've just been going crazy with these packs. In the background, I got my Charizard ritual because I'm trying to uh, summon Charizard's luck. So I figured if I get the, the best Charizards of all time, then uh, it'll be a better chance to get that main to pop up in an actual pack. So comment section below, what is the best Charizard art of all time? Let me know what you guys think. All right, first pack. You're not a deal. There's a code card. We got LR backwards. We got RL right there. And got one, two, three, four to the front. Give me something good. Fire energy! That's definitely uh, a good sign always, isn't it? I feel like when I finally do pull a charge out, it's going to have fire energy in the front just to go along with the theme. We got Charmander in the back. Hang out with your pops. And then a reverse Mew. Charmander, you failed me. You absolutely failed me today. But it's fine to forgive you because you're so cute. All right. Number two. Let's see what we got. We got the Charizard in the front. Man, you know what's funny is I'm seeing so many people pull Charizard now. I feel like at this point... I'm going to be the last YouTuber that's going to get them, if I even get them, which says a lot, considering, like I said, I was one of the first to pull it in the actual Japanese set, which is still very exciting to see when that actually happened. I should go back and try to find that video again. But, like, I'm seeing people randomly on Twitter. I'm seeing videos get recommended in my timeline every single day. I just want the Charizard, man. One of these days. One of these days. I have no idea when this video is going to be up, but by the time this airs, I actually put together a video of my entire Charizard collection. Quagsire! And a Mewtwo! Look at that! It's not a shiny Mewtwo, but it's a Mewtwo. It's funny, this morning, actually, uh, I just got done raiding, as I mentioned, and I uh, I got a 98% IV Mewtwo. I'm like, why couldn't that be shiny? I know, I feel so spoiled saying that. Uh, why, why couldn't that be shiny? That would have been so perfect, because I know if I finally do end up getting shiny Mewtwo, I guarantee you it's going to be an awful, awful uh, IV, and then it's like... I mean, I guess I could trade, try to get a lucky trade or something like that, but like, come on! Anyways, uh, so yeah, I put together a Mewtwo, not Mewtwo collection, a Charizard collection video, which should be live by the time you see this. And uh, I'm thinking about doing basically my whole collection, minus the Charizards, because I already did that video. But if you want to see something like that, uh, I guess go check out that video. And then let me know your thoughts in the comment section over there, and I might make it happen. Big fan of the new Farfetch, by the way. Surfetch is awesome. Surfetch is awesome, awesome, awesome. You know what else is awesome? This spot right here that could have been a Charizard. And we got Golem in the back. All right, you get you get over here. Get, get inside the stack. Man, I got such a huge stack of cards in the corner of my office. Like I said, usually what I tend to do, because I open so many cards, I actually just tend to just uh, sell them all as bulk uh, to, like, various sites. Usually I do Troll and Toad. And I need to make a, a trip to the post office soon and send that off because there's literally just a giant tower of cards over there. And they're just stocking up. And then, of course, when I sell them, I buy more uh, booster packs. It's, it's, a, it's a cycle. That's how you do this. Okay. See what we got. I haven't seen a GX shiny in a while. It's been a good minute, so hopefully that can change today. Giovanni's exile, at least. Uh, but I see this full art so many times at this point. I'm like, whatever. It's a cool art, though. I think uh, Giovanni is definitely one of the more slept-on characters. You know what I would love to see, and I, I feel like this will literally never happen in a billion years. Can we not corrupt the Charizard? Let's, let's put these guys over here. There you go. You can hang out over here. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Something I would love to see, and it's never going to happen in a billion years, because Pokemon Company will probably never, ever do something like this, is um, there's a rumor going around that they're going to basically change out Ash. I don't think that's going to happen, number one. Number two, what I would love to see, though, is if that does happen, or if they just do an alternate series, if they do a series around Red. Give us, like, the original series. Make it, make it a little bit darker, because obviously right now, at this point, yeah, Pokemon is not just for kids. I mean, it's people like me who grew up with it and just never grew out of it. Um, and with Detective Pikachu being as successful as it was, I feel like there is an all older audience that can cater to the series. And it, I mean, I, I, I don't mean like super dark, like this is like for 18 and over. I'm talking about like just darker. Because like if you watch the, uh, if you read the manga, the, the, the Pokemon Adventures manga is actually kind of dark and it's dope. I want to see that animated. Sabrina's suggestion. I suggest you use your Shaggy powers and tell me how many packs I am away or pulling Charizard. But yeah, think about how, how dope that would be. Like, that would be so awesome. And I know there's a lot of you guys who aren't necessarily like the, the child rage. You're probably like, yeah, I'd watch that. Yeah, think about that. That'd be dope. Man, there's so much like the Pokemon company that, can still, they, 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 they can still explore. Wow, speaking of sorry today. Uh, if they just really tap into the markets, if they want to. I mean, they don't have to. Because the thing is, is like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And in the po in Pokemon company's case, there's literally nothing broken. They can do the same thing over and over and over again for years. And it will always work. You know what doesn't work though? This. After here. Hey! Shiny! Swap blue! Nice! I was expecting to get a reverse, uh, reverse hollow and just, you know, nothing good. But I'll take it, you know, it's shiny. Mmm, it's kind of off center though. Can't say I'm a big fan of swap blue though, so whatever. And I also pulled that already, so it's kind of just a dupe. Where's the GX's? Where are the shiny GX's? Right here? Will this be the one? Come on. You know what, you know, you, you know what you gotta do. You know what you gotta do. Go ahead and pop that out. There's a code card. One, two, three, four. Are people actually using these code cards for the TCG online game? Let me know in the comment section below. Because aren't most of these cards like rotated out at this point? Because they're kind of old. They're all old cards that received a shiny variant. So are they still usable? Let me know down below. I think I remember my friend saying that he wanted to shine charge off for his deck. So I guess he's technically still kind of usable, but I'm not really sure what the case is. So anyone that actually actively plays the game, uh, let me know down below about that. Because I'm kind of curious. Where's all the shiny GXs? We got one, two, three, four, five packs left. All right, Mew, bring, ho bring it on home. Mew, bring it on home. You want to see me yell? You want to see me yell? Well, you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do. Give me that Charizard, and I'll do all the yelling you need me to do. Let's see that shock factor. Water. Water gets uh, not defeated by fire. Water defeats fire. <laughs> so this pack is probably going to be whack. This pack sucks. This pack sucks. It sucks! It sucks! Oh, it actually does suck. Dang. <laughs> Man, I feel like the last couple of sets of packs I've gotten have had some pretty low pull rates for me. Like, I had those uh, I had those videos that I uploaded in the last uh, couple weeks, really, where I've had not necessarily Charizard pulls, but they're pretty fire. Like, you know, I've gotten gold cards, I've gotten various, like, shiny hits, like Mewtwo, for example, Umbreon, Espeon. But then I will go back to like videos like this and I'm like, I'm not getting anything. Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Pokemon Company? Did you did you sell me uh, dud packs? But I, I feel like it's also like part of your game because you know, you don't pull it. What do you do? You go to the store and you buy more. Just a never ending cycle. Reverse! Man! These packs suck! <laughs> Stop it! Alright, we got three packs left. You know, I, I have hope. Birds? Birds? And Charizard, we'll do Charizard first, because I feel like Burbs are going to be my lucky charm, because I don't expect it to be out of those packs. So, let's see what we got. Slide out! There's a code card. You know, uh, I just I just, I just want the Charizard, man. That's all I want. And again, I'm not trying to even flip it. I'm not trying to sell it. I want it for my collection. Come on home, son! My son! Come on home! We gotta put you into the collection with the other Charizard. You know, I got all that. I got the first edition Shadows in the back. I got all the other ones uh, from Legendary Collection to Sky Ridge. All waiting for you to join the squad. Are you gonna do it? Is today gonna be the day? Will today be the day? Hey, Malamar. For a second, I was like, what is that? Malamar, I, I've never pulled this one yet. I've never pulled that this one yet. It's actually in pretty good shape, too. Good condition. The back is all clean. But I don't think Malamar has much of a uh, following like that. I wanna say that, but I mean, I might be wrong. Um, but hey, we got Shiny again. Unfortunately, he's still not GX. Okay, last two packs. Let's see what we got. Like I said, all it takes is one. All it takes is that one lucky pack. Charmander in the front. Is that a sign? Is that a sign of what's to come? Is that a sign of what's to come? Oops. Uh, revealed the Metapod there, which is not that important. We'll do one, two, three to the front. And what we got? Darkness energy. 
We got a gym. We got a gym. We got a Metapod Charmander. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! Really? Uh... <laughs> Here we are again on the last pack. It's funny. It's like you can literally watch my emotions go up and down. And then as I get towards like the last pack, I'm like, yep, well, there goes that. Because again, you open that one pack, it's like, well, I have more packs to go through. But when you get to the last one, you're just like, oh, yeah, I think I'm defeated. This is it. This is it. One, two, three to the front, or front to the front, my bad. Steel Energy, Metapod, Gym, Magmar, Caterpie, Snake, Harris, Charmander, Slowpoke. No! Oh, these packs suck too. Uh, you know what they say, easy come, easy go. Not really easy come, easy go, because I paid for these, but... Uh, back to the drawing board, I guess. So stay tuned for more Hidden Fates. I'm telling you, it's going to happen eventually, because I believe. I believe. I ain't no quitter. Uh, for now. Thank you guys for watching. What is Rhyme Style? I'll see you in the next video. Peace.